Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have little Estrella with me and she's doing good. So she's just squiggling around at the moment. So I wanted to answer the question of whether snakes make good emotional support animals. So the pros being, uh, they are easy to keep clean. You've seen me clean my snakes out and it's only every five to six weeks. Doctors have found that they are beneficial for those who are on the autistic spectrum or have bipolar, depression, anxiety, BPD, all those sorts of things. Because snakes live in an enclosure, it makes them easy because they're sort of contained. So you're not having to be wondering, oh, where are they or what are they up to or anything like that, providing you keep your enclosure locked, which is obviously important. Also, snakes don't have any like dander or any fur that a lot of people with allergies, you know, they They've got allergies to fur and dander and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about that with snakes because they just shed their skin generally all in sort of one go. So you don't have any sort of, I've never heard of anyone with an allergy to shed snake skin. Let's say snakes don't need that much attention either because I mean, obviously you can have them out roaming around you and whatnot and you can hold them and things like that and they'll tolerate that but um, they're also happy to just to do their own thing and you know be on their own in their tanks and just sleeping or whatever climbing about so yeah so it's kind of the best of both worlds really they don't need a massive amount of attention unlike a dog or a cat so people with autism often struggle with overstimulation snakes provide a soothing um sort of more calming effect compared to you know traditional emotional support animals like cats and dogs so doctors do recommend um, having snakes for people with autism it's um, recommended that they have something like a snake more than a cat or a dog because cats and dogs can be quick and run about and make a lot of noise and things like that and that will upset people especially those with severe autism as well so and these guys they are just so calming <laughs> snakes are great assistance animals for people with um sort of psychological uh, disorders like bipolar and bpd and there's been success with um snakes uh, sort of in therapy like with therapy sessions and stuff because like it's the physical feeling of the snake like especially with the bigger snakes if you've got them sort of round you and that there's that massaging sort of physical effect and you, you can feel that and you can feel the coolness of their skin on your skin and as i say it's that physical touch for a lot of people it kind of takes them out of that headspace that they've been stuck in and they're concentrating on something else and obviously these guys need looking after so that takes up a bit of people's time and um yeah and it just focuses their mind i know it focuses my mind on what i'm doing and you know how many of them i'm gonna clean out on what day and things like that so it takes me out of my feeling sort of depressed or anxious or whatever and um, just makes me concentrate on something else and i feel like i can actually get something achieved and done and when you do have that sense of achievement it's just it's such a great feeling it really is so those participating in animal assisted therapy have shown great signs of improvement which is great basically i think snakes and sort of slower moving reptiles are fantastic as therapy animals um, as emotional support animals and things like that the only thing is that in a lot of countries, well, probably nearly all countries, you have those restrictions as to what animal you can take on the plane and things like that. Um, so it's like if I walked on to a plane with her or tried to get through, you know, the barriers and everything, I don't think people would be happy because there's still a big fear around snakes. But that's why, as I say with my channel, I'm hoping to dispel those kinds of fears that people have. But you know it's it's widely accepted that a dog 
can be a service animal or therapy animal is completely covered on all bases and is generally allowed uh, like on a plane or whatever but um, most other animals I think not at the moment or well, someone tried to take what was it was it a turkey or a peacock or something on a plane and obviously they weren't happy about that because the thing is you've got to think about the health of the other passengers and you know there's certain animals that can carry well for example with snakes um, they do slither through their poop and that poop will contain salmonella so you don't really want like a salmonella like outbreak on a plane for example so yeah but hopefully one day these guys become a bit more accepted and can be taken places even i mean getting on a plane is probably an extreme thought but you know someone said to me once oh why don't you you know put a snake around your neck and just you know go to the shop and whatnot you know people take their dogs out and sometimes their cats why not a snake but as i say people are just scared and react strangely and stuff so if you get a positive reaction or people are absolutely like oh no don't go anywhere near you so but anyway so yeah so i just wanted to touch on that as it's coming up to the most depressing days um sort of in the year because it's after christmas everything's an anti-climax and people are waiting like six weeks to get paid because obviously a lot of people get paid earlier in december which is great at the time but then you're poor for the next six weeks so um but yeah so i just wanted to kind of touch on that and just you know show people that snakes are great as assistant animals and there's so many benefits as well so but yeah anyway so <laughs> that's that for now and um, I hope you are all feeling good I know the sun's lacking at the moment but with any luck we'll hit the warmer weather soon but anyway if you did enjoy that video please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe hit that bell notification so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you have any comments or questions then just pop them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them but now from myself and astraea <laughs> it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching